Yeah. Back again, right? Um, you trust me? Twenty eight verse thirty eight says, Death, thou shalt be trust a wife, and another man shall lie with her. Thou shalt build an house, and thou shalt not dwell therein. Thou shalt plant a vineyard, and thou shalt and shalt not gather the grapes thereof. Thine ox shall be slain before thine eyes, and thou shalt not eat thereof. Thine eyes shall be violently taken away from before thy face, and thou shalt not be restored unto thee, and shall not be restored unto thee. Thy sheep shall be given unto thine enemies, and thou shalt not have none to rescue them. So now that is what he's saying in, in Isaiah chapter 62, verse 8, that the Lord going on break that off, cut that off, and that is where in the kingdom. That is in the kingdom. It says, I read it over, it says, The Lord, Yahweh, Shami, Yahweh, Shai, hath sworn by his right hand, and by the arm of his strength, surely I will no more give thy corn to be meat for thine enemies, and the sons and, and the sons of strangers shall not drink thy wine for the which thou hast labored. Because we work in Yasuf, and these fuckers drinking and eating off our wheat. So it says, but they that have gathered it shall eat it. That is we. We gather we think we eat where we gather. And praise the Lord. That is in the kingdom. And they that have brought it together shall drink it in the courts of my holiness. You understand? And that is in the kingdom, man. Um Yeah. Yeah, that is it. That is in the kingdom. We go and do that in the kingdom of heaven. We go and do that in the kingdom of heaven. We go and do that in the kingdom of heaven. This is Isaiah chapter 60. Um, verse 5. It says, Then thou shalt see and flow together, and thine heart shall fear. And be enlarged because of the abundance of the sea shall be converted unto thee. The forces of the Gentiles, who is the Gentiles? These are the nations, all right? These heathen nations, that is the Gentiles, they shall come unto thee. And what is the forces of the Gentiles? The riches of the Gentiles. So, selling out the Esau makes sense because we ultimately go and get what Esau have. All the riches we go and get. It, it says, The multitude of camels shall cover thee. The dromedaries of Midian and Ephah, all day from Sheba shall come. They shall bring gold and incense, and they shall show forth the praises of Yahweh by Hashem Shai. All the flocks of Kedah shall be gathered together unto thee. Meaning every rich, every, the flocks, flocks back then was wealth. If you have cattle, rams, um, sheep, whatever. All of that was wealth. I always used to measure wealth. A man who had plenty of that, when they, when they read in Job, they say, Job 1, 1, Job 1, Job chapter 1, they tell you that Job had a lot of different flocks. 7,000 of this, 4,000 of that. Because Job was very rich. And the most I say, in all of these different nation riches, all what I have, going and be yours. So go and bring it. For we. He says, all the flocks of Kedah shall be gathered together unto thee. The rams of Nebaioth shall minister unto thee. They shall come up with, the, with acceptance upon my altar, and I will glorify the house of my glory. And that is Israel. It says, Who are these that fly as a cloud and as the dove to their windows? And who is that? That is we, my. That is we in my chariot. It says, Who are these that fly as a cloud and as the dove to their windows? That is us, my. The most I go and give you that play. We go on our chariots. We go on our all pleasant and godly things. The scripture say, the scripture say a little child could put him hand in a in a play with a poisonous ass, a poisonous snake, and the snake can go and do the child nothing. Because why? We in the kingdom. And that scripture where it say, where the Lord say, He gave we dominion over every um other creatures, all the all the beasts are the field creeping things and all of that that go and ultimately fulfill with well, Jacob ruling. It says, I read it over. It says, Who are these that fly as a cloud? Woo! And as the doves to their windows. 
tell surely that I shall wait for me the ships of Tarshish to bring thy sons from far, their silver and their gold with them unto the name of Yahweh Ba'asham Yahushai, thy power to the Holy One of Israel, because he had glorified thee. Verse 16 says, And the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls, and their king shall minister unto thee, for in thy wrath I smote, for in my wrath I smote thee, but in my favor have I had mercy on thee. And the sons of strangers is these different nations, Edomites mainly. He that lead it into captivity shall go into captivity. That's what the scripture say. Them mainly, them gonna be building up the walls. You understand? Pave every streets with gold. Work the ass off. That is what we looking for. That is what we see in our far off. That is the faith we have. One day, this gonna happen. One day, it have one day, one specific day, when you have about Shami Awashai, going and come back here and deliver you people and put them in that, in that um, liberty. That is the liberty we're looking for. We're looking for no liberty where we suffering and begging by the scripture say, my son lead not a beggar's life. And we had to beg for every fucking thing we had to get in the system under the hands of this devil. Who the hell want to live like that, by? This is why I had to go. So if I stay in here, this is why I had to teach my little son to be a fucking beggar. And that way my little son had to teach his children how to, how to be under submission on that devil. No, brethren. We want, we want sovereignty, by. Right? We want to rule. Kingdom minded. You understand? No, no slave mentality. Kingdom minded. Rulership mentality. It says, Therefore thy gate shall be open continually. They shall not be shut day nor night. And that is what, why. Why we get to, one, there's nobody going to come, come and teeth from me because why? They know the fucking distress the way and have. If it have a, a Elamite or a Elamite or a Moabite, say, wait, but I'm not too much of riches, but let me go and teeth. Like, all right. These Rothschilds and these Rockefellers and them, them in their kingdom, but they have bodyguards all over. Why? Because they know somebody could come and thief from them. Hey, the scripture say, how shall I say, the day the Lord comes as a thief. The thief, the Lord, yeah, how shall I ultimately coming back to thief, to take everything which was his own in the first place from them. But what I'm saying is, they have all these bodyguards around them because they ain't safe. They know somebody mightier than them or somebody with some power, if somebody have money, who the, the enemies could come and take from them and go. But in we kingdom, we know for fuck none of them fucking heathen in one put the thought in the mind. A Elamite put any thought in the mind. Hey, them Israelites and them are real riches, boy. They must look to go and take from them, no? But that he, he, he and the whole family and generation upon generation will be wiped out. You see? So that is one reason why we gates gonna be oh, we, we gates ain't gonna be shut day or night, it's gonna be open continually. Nobody gonna come and teeth from me. But here the next reason. It says, Therefore thy gates shall be open continually, they shall not be shut day or night. That men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles. So the next, our next reason too, is that these other heathens just go and bring all the riches. If they have a beautiful daughter, they have a beautiful, um, the 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 the, the, the they have a beautiful daughter. You understand? Beautiful nieces. You know. Strong, strong. Um. Uh, uh, um male male child to do the yard work for we to bring in all of that to bring in the cattle we taking the daughters and the nieces and breaking them with concubines to bring in the cattle for we the, the wealth to bring in everything for we all the riches they're going to bring it for we and we ain't going to just oppress the, you know the, after a thousand years they're going to have a little land to live in they're going to be living way better than they're living under Esau but the so-called white man going to be done away with completely. It says, and that their kings may be brought. For the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish. 
yea, those nations shall be utterly wasted. The glory of Lebanon shall come unto thee, the fir tree and all. Yep, I 